the hood in the town on my back And plus, the hoodie be on even when I'm not strapped Pull up like you want it, then fuck it, let's get it, you know we don't know how to act And I threw a Zane in my handy, so I can't remember a thing after that That's that beam with I'm after What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Goddamn TV, man. We back with another video, man. I know y'all seen the old intro. I put it back up. Just for the people who want the old intro back, so I did it for y'all. Let me know if I should keep that or y'all rocking with the new intro. But looks like Kasana is in some steam as a friend of his actually accused of grape. You know, I gotta put grape in there because, I mean, I ain't really wanna say the, the word that I really wanna say because I don't think it's appropriate for the two. But this is what she posted on January 1st, 2023. I was grape at a party by a complete stranger. I was in Invited to this party by someone I thought to be a friend. I asked for help. It's not going anywhere, so I've decided to take it to social media. His name is I can't even pronounce his name, but his Instagram is Richie Jiggy. She wrote this long paragraph, basically in the caption as well. She then shows some documents from the hospital visit. She actually shows she did have a grape kit. She also makes it clear she is not trying to blame Ka, but only the perpetrator, which is the guy I named before Richie Jiggy, and felt Ka was somewhat responsible. She also shows some text messages with Ka Sana, trying to get the Instagram of the guy. She barely got a response from Ka. And then Ka told her he'll get back to her. She then goes on to write, I'm not suing anyone. Everyone can keep their money. I just want the grapist in jail. I don't want his clout. I could care less. After this gets handled, I'm deactivating my account. She also shows a few pictures of blood on a tissue from a napkin saying it was not period. And it was from brutal force. She shows her hospital visits on the day of check-in and check-out saying she has all the proof of what happened to her i'll show you a clip from her speaking on it as well so check it out i said i said i don't want to involve you publicly but i'm gonna need some answers or else i'm gonna have to figure this shit out on my own your security said that they remember knocking on the door and that some boy with gray boxes opened the door if you don't want to help me i'm telling you right now i will take it to social media and i know for a fact someone will give me the information i need and he told me that he gave me that he gave his team my phone number to handle, to handle the situation. Then he told me, uh, um, he sent me a paragraph of his attorney and that they're gonna be contacting me and he hasn't talked to me ever since. And, and that was, you. this was on Monday. It is now Thursday. I waited, I waited days, I waited days and I told him that I was gonna take it to social media, but I told the attorney that I was not going to lie. I'm not a liar. There was like, yes, I told Kai that he set me up in the messages. I felt like he set me up because in the moment, that's what it felt like. However, I'm going to say exactly what happened. I'm not lying. I'm not going to say anything more or less. As you can see, man, it's a lot going on. I'm sad to see Kai is actually going through something like this, being that it was not really his fault. But at the same time, it was somewhere he was a part of. So that's how this goes. I'm not going to say too much on that. But I hope things definitely do get situated for her and for him. But let me know your thoughts on this situation. It's a crazy, crazy story. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I drop a new video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Swerving the road, a merry, a merry, my nigga, I'm just doing whatever stuff saying they got.